fuck are you messing with me for, man? Stop. Good afternoon. How you doing? We just traveling inbound on Union Street. This way? Yeah. Came up Griffin and then turned over. Yeah, you saw me. I came right by you. Okay, take a left. No, 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 no. I was coming down. I was gonna turn on Griffin, but I went straight. Okay. There was a deputy that was in his personal vehicle following you and said that you were doing close to 100 or so. Out there. Do you have your license on? I passed downhill at one point, but. Yeah, he said that you were passing the vehicle at high rate. It's in my jacket. Can I reach yeah, for it? Sure. Uh, do you have the papers for the motorcycle as well? They'll be underneath the seat. All right. Just hang tight for a second. Yep. So a personal officer saw me in his personal vehicle going over 100 miles an hour. Well, no, no I didn't exceed 100 miles an hour. Looks like I got a little busted here. So apparently this officer is saying that another officer in his personal vehicle saw me coming down the street going well over 100 miles an hour, which is false. I might have been going right at 100 miles an hour at one point while passing. But other than that, I stayed in the lane. It's, you know, I just passed some people. So where's this personal vehicle officer? Does he have a radar gun in his car? Like, you can't give me a ticket for something you didn't see me do, man. Cops ain't got nothing better to do. Do 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 do. Fuck with me. Of all of the guys that I ride with, I am the calmest rider. Yeah, dude. Everything's registered to me. The bike's registered to me. My license is valid. I don't have any warrants. I'm a normal guy. Just a guy. Gotta slow down. Okay. You had a motorcycle accident in the city already, and you never know who you're passing. That's how you get charged for for riding. You know, you don't need to pick up a charge for going out for a ride. 
I understand. You know yeah, I got you. And it's not only you got to worry about that. It's about everybody else responding to the way that you're driving. Bro. No, I completely understand it, man. Just try to slow down, bro. I appreciate you. Have a great day. It looks like my video changed today. I don't understand why the bad attitude, though. I appreciate the warning. But, like, why are you so miserable, dude? They can't take you for what they don't catch you doing. There we go. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, I didn't get busted. I got my key right. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to another vlog. It's your boy Pacey from the Merlin and Me YouTube channel. I'm on Xena today, and we are headed to the casino. I'm not going to gamble, I'm just going to go utilize the uh, top deck of the parking garage like I do for other videos a lot. And uh, today we're going to be answering questions from Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm pretty sure you should. So why don't you go on over there and follow your boy at Merlin and me, or you can find me under Pacey Moto. Um, and I will be posting things there all the time, man. So if you like uh, my bikes and you like Merlin, that's where you can see extra content. Um, I do some stuff on Twitter, man. I'm um, not real heavy in Twitter, but I definitely don't do a lot on uh, Facebook, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother following me on Facebook. They're always sending me messages like, hey, do something with your account. And I'm like, nah, who the fuck is on Facebook anymore? So, yeah, I don't do that shit. Anyway, so we're on our way to the casino. Uh, I'm going to go up there and uh, pull out my phone, and we're going to answer some questions from Instagram. So, stay tuned to that after the intro. I'll see you guys in a minute. Peace. That popping in that flame. All right, guys, so we're going to answer some questions from Instagram. Uh, I put up a couple different posts asking for questions from you guys that you wanted answered, and we are going to answer those right now. I got my phone out so I can see. And the, the first question that we'll be answering today is from uh, Alyssa Dunton. She wants to know, what make or model was your first motorcycle? Well, guys, that's, um, that's a really simple question. I've had a... I've had a lot of bikes over the years, but the very first motorcycle that I would consider mine uh, was a 99 SV1. No, I'm not sorry. Uh, the very first motorcycle that I would consider to be mine was a 99 SV650. Um, it wasn't the S, it was the naked version. Uh, mine was blue. I really enjoyed it. Uh, really good first bike, really good bike to learn on. You know, I would say it's a really good beginner bike for anyone who has a healthy respect for life and is a responsible individual. You know, if you're a teenager and uh, you've never ridden before, you've never ridden dirt, I would recommend going on something a little less torquey. But an SV650 is a, a fantastic motorcycle, and I think it's a, a good beginner bike for a lot of people, especially if you're already an adult. All right, second question comes from uh, my boy Thimmon. I think that's how you say it. Um, he helped me out with my uh, my channel art. He did all my channel art and everything like that. So he's he's really good part of the channel here. And his question is, have you ever considered switching from riding your? Oh, have you ever considered switching from riding your motorcycle to riding a motorized dinosaur? And that's a really simple question to answer. Is of course I have. You know, when they come out with a motorized dinosaur, I will ride the freaking shit out of that thing you know i i'm all i'm all about new experiences you know this upcoming winter i'm gonna do like some sledding uh they call it snowmobiling or whatever up here so but motorized dinosaurs sounds like an awesome idea you know as soon as they have one of those you send me a link i will fly myself to wherever it is and ride that bitch you let me know and i'll do it all right so motocross chris has the third question and he asked the question and that question is hillary or trump and if we're gonna get into this topic, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it down for you, okay? I'm gonna lay it down for you between the Hillarys and the Trump. Donald Trump's a fucking moron, but Hillary Clinton is the fucking Antichrist. So the answer to that question is really simple: neither. I didn't vote for either one of those fucking idiots. If you want to know who I voted for, I'll tell you. I voted for Gary Goddamn Johnson. I voted my conscience, 
And uh, when it comes to voting in America, I really think that we'd all be better off if we all voted for the person who actually fit our ideals. If we all used our conscience and voted with that, I think that that would be the best solution to the problem that we are in now. And a lot of people like to tell you that you're throwing your, your vote away from voting third party. I wholeheartedly disagree. If everyone voted their conscience, you would see that number at the bottom of the screen on election night go crazy high, like it did this last time. Gary Johnson had the largest number of third party supported votes than any other election that has ever happened. So I got to tell you guys, I, I'm not a big fan of the two party system. I really think that we need more parties in there. We need to get more average Joe citizens, no more millionaires, no more lifelong politicians. Let's get the average Joes in there, you know, like me, you and, you know, a lot of the people that you probably know in your better life or your real life would be better uh, politicians than, than the people that we get in there. You know, when we started this government, you were supposed to do it for a few years, make your contribution, go back to your job and your regular life, you know. We weren't supposed to have lifelong politicians. So to answer your question, Hillary or Trump, fuck both of them. That's what I got to say. That's what I got to say. All right. Next question. Wyatt underscore D underscore 20. Would you ever do a bike giveaway? Uh, some of you guys who've been watching the channel for a really long time might know this, um, but I actually was going to do a bike giveaway. Um, when I first started my channel, I started it up with the intention of building like a cafe, ra cafe racer motorcycle and giving it away. You can probably still find the uh, old videos on my channel. Um, and that predates Chase on Two Wheels giving away motorcycles. It predates Jer uh, Jarrett Campisi. Um, I was trying to do that well before anybody else picked up on it and started doing it. So if anything, I kind of like to think I started that trend, but um, I didn't end up following through with it because it just wasn't popular enough. I didn't get enough interest in it uh, to sit there and put a bunch of money into a motorcycle when I had like 150 subscribers and nobody wanted to win it. So yes, I would consider doing a bike giveaway. Um, I would have to be... A lot more popular on YouTube than I am now. Um, and that's in your guys' hands. Share the video. Share them with your friends. Hit a like, man. Hit that like button if you like this kind of stuff. All right. Next question is from Tanner F underscore. How does one become as cool as Merlin? Um, Tanner, you know, that's, that's a really good question, buddy. And I'm, I'm really sorry to tell you that it's, it's, it's impossible to be as cool as Merlin. Um, there's really nothing that you can attain in life. Uh, to, to, to attain what he's already have, you know, like he was born cool, you know, the rest of us have to work for it. I would say that uh, if that's your goal, I think you'd be better suited uh, trying to be cooler than somebody else because Merlin is just about as cool as he gets. But I appreciate the question, Tanner. Thank you very much. Psycho Bobby, my man, Psycho Bobby is asking a question next. What brought you to Maine? Uh, that's kind of a really, really long story, but the abridged version is uh, my folks moved up a few years before I did. Um, I was running a business in Florida, and uh, you know, I hadn't really been around my family in a long time. And it, it, it just the timing was right. I got to be honest with you, Maine's not my favorite place. I would much rather live in Florida than Maine. Uh, but up here right now, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm enjoying the summertime, especially because it's nice and cool. It's not 107 degrees. Uh, but family, family brought me to Maine. We'll put it that way. You know, there's a lot of other circumstances that are involved with that at the same time. But I would say family brought me to Maine. Thank you, Psycho Bobby, for asking that question. Always oh, got another question. Psycho Bobby's got another question. Let's see what it says. Psycho Bobby, have you ever thought about getting a supermoto? And if so, which one? You know, I have thought about getting a supermoto. Supermotos look like a lot of fun. Um, I don't do a lot of off road riding, I never really have. Um, so that would be a new experience for me. Uh, as far as which one, honestly, I'd probably go straight towards like a 450. I'm a bigger guy, I'm kind of heavy. Um, not that you need a stupid amount of power, but. I don't know, I probably like a one of the 450s, maybe a CRF or you know, probably a Yamaha maybe, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know a lot about them to be honest with you. If I was going to do a supermoto, I probably wouldn't buy one that came from the factory as a supermoto. I'd probably make my own. I know that's legal up here and it's definitely legal in Florida where I'm from, so yes, I would consider it which one I do not know. Sorry, I don't have a better answer for you. Um, another question from Psycho Bobby was, how old is Merlin? Merlin is eight years old. Um, in March, he'll be nine. Um, I bought, I got, I got Merlin from a breeder in the South Florida, Southwest Florida. 
And I gotta tell you, man, it's the best the best decision to, to picking up a friend I've ever had in my I've ever made in my life. I did a lot of research before I bought a dog. Now I'd never had a dog before. I've always wanted a dog to be my own, but you know, when you live in apartments and you have a certain lifestyle, you really need to make sure that you don't just go out and get the dog that you think you want, but you get the dog that matches your lifestyle. And I wasn't even considering Scottish Terriers, you know, it wasn't something that came up to me, it wasn't something that was on my brain or on my mind of the kind of dog that I was looking for. Uh, but I did a lot of research, man, I researched for like a year before I even decided on what kind of dog I wanted to get, and Scottish Terriers just kept coming up. They kept coming up because they match my lifestyle, he matched my lifestyle. You know, they're independent dogs, they, uh... They don't require like a supreme amount of exercise, but they're still active. You know, it's they're good apartment dogs when you live in an apartment. Even better if you have a yard. So I mean, I would honestly suggest if you're looking to get a dog for the first time, don't go out and buy a pit bull because that's what you want, or a golden retriever. That's what you want. Really do the right thing. Take a good look at your life. Take a take a good look at your life and decide. Hey, can I actually take care of this animal? Can I provide this animal with the life that it deserves? And is it's life gonna match my life is its needs gonna match my needs so, you know i see a lot of people getting huskies and like golden retrievers and you know um old police dogs and things like that what they don't realize is those are working breed dogs they need a job they need stability they need a routine in order to to, to maintain their mental health otherwise they'll become destructive that's why dogs destroy people's houses you know, it's 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 honestly quite cruel if you don't get the right kind of dog for the lifestyle that you live. And that's that's the end of my rant on that. Uh, all right. I got another question here from uh, Mehmet Carson. Who is Kleb and where has he been? Uh, Kleb is a motorcycle out in California. Uh, honestly, Mehmet, if you had a motorcycle, you could be my club to me being suburban delinquent because he's kind of like the new Klaus. I don't know if you guys have been watching Moto Vlogs for a long time, but club is kind of like suburban delinquent's new Klaus, but he also makes his own content, and I'm a big fan. I've been a fan of his uh, before he took his long break. I think it was in the military. Uh, but he put out a few videos, and he took a long break, and then he put out some more, and I was like, man, this guy's videos are fucking awesome, dude. Awesome. Now, but I like the club. I like his videos, and... Uh, I need someone goofy like that in my life. All right, last question of the vlog uh, from my man Cameron. I think his name is Cameron. It's, uh, C underscore M O N underscore 14. He's a local guy, uh, but trying to meet up with him for a while. And his question is the, my least favorite part of Maine and my favorite part. This is a really easy question for me to answer being a Florida boy. My least favorite part of Maine is the cold. The cold, the snow, the ice, all that bullshit, man, it just pisses me off to no end. I get really cranky in the winter, especially when I can't ride my motorcycle. You know, that, that, that takes its toll on me, and I don't like it. I don't like it being in January, negative 5 degrees, 7 feet of snow on the ground, and it's like, fuck, I gotta drive in this shit? Yeah, no. That's what I don't like about Maine. Uh, my favorite part of Maine is the rest of the year, man. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you guys. Being from the south, being from Florida, coming from the Sunshine State, it's up here in Maine. I mean, look at it. Just look around. Be blue skies. It's beautiful. And we're in August right now, which is like the hottest freaking month. And it's barely 80 degrees. We had like two days in the 90s, man. Like, it does not get hot up here. And coming from a really hot place where you sweat constantly, like, feel this breeze. Oh, my God. It feels so nice. Just blowing through my jacket, through my pits. It feels great. No, but that's my favorite part of Maine, man. Um, the people, you know, are, they're on par with the people in Florida. I, I kind of feel like I don't really give... I haven't really uh, made a lot of, like, really close friends here. But, you know, I'm, I'm older. It's hard to make closer friends when you're older. But Maine is, Maine is a really nice place, especially in the summertime. There is not a better place to be, um, especially out near the coast. You know, the coast is really cool. I really like it out there. It's really, you know, when you watch, like, movies that take place in, like, you know, old times or shit like that, like, you got a lot of houses and, and buildings that are really old and, like, colonial that are really cool. So there's a lot of culture up here and there's a lot of history up here. But mostly... The thing I hate is the weather, and the thing I love is the weather. It's a love-hate relationship, man, because there, it's, it's so, you know, you got the two extremes. 
that you don't, you, you, well, you have the one extreme you have to deal with and the other extreme you don't have to deal with. Um, I'm getting used to it though. The cold isn't that bad. You know, you can get used to it. You can always put on more clothes. In the summer, you can only take so many off though before you're breaking the law. Well, guys, that's the end of the questions on the uh, on the video here. I figure we'll jump back on the bike and uh, do a little bit more riding, but I am assuming that this is going to be a very long video now. Uh, not only because of the questions that I answer, but I probably will throw that uh, I got pulled over today thing on there as well. Uh, but that's all I got for you today, guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't already, make sure you go down there and subscribe. And if you want to hit that notification bell, man, do it. Uh, if you don't like these kind of videos, let me know down in the comments why and what you would rather see. And I will see you guys on the next one. Deuces! <sighs> Alright. Let's get back on this beast. <sighs> now that I've already been pulled over once, I'm kind of thinking I should probably go home. I might want to take the back way home. Or I could just do the speed limit. That's probably a good idea. I could do the speed limit and not worry about it. it sucks, man. I want to do a little more riding today, but... Every time I get pulled over, man, I don't feel like I, I should ride much more that day. It's like, yeah, it's time to go home. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head home and edit this video for you guys so I can get that up there for you. I know it's been a while since I posted. Things have just been a little crazy lately. But I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, and I love you, and I will see you later. I will see you later. Be good. Be as good as you can. I'm glad I already ended the video because I was fucking stupid.